What's up guys, welcome to your 198th Android tutorial, and yeah, I just waited a while, it's been like an hour or so, and if we go to our AdMob account, down here where we see all of our activities that we applied for, you can see it turned green, it's still not showing ads yet, uh, might take, you know, probably, I don't know, a uh, few, few more hours before it actually displays the ads that we request, but it is uh, accepting a uh, request, so... Um, but uh, you know also if you guys apply with AdSense through this it'll help your fill rate so you'll display ads more often but I believe it still should show up eventually they just kinda need to figure out how you know uh, the data that we're sending them and all that stuff I believe that's my guess and it'll appear eventually and then what we're gonna do is um, so again if you guys don't have this green highlighted button uh, within you know a few hours that's probably some sort of a problem, but uh, you know, give it a while. It says two minutes, just give it a few minutes. Um, and another thing we can do is we can open up our starting point class, and again, we gave that add a reference as well. And we're just going to set up a, re a reference and you know, refresh it or send a refresh, uh, so we get a fresh new add uh, within our application on our on create method. Even though we set it up in XML uh, to be true within our on create. I just wanted to show you guys how to like refresh an ad if you want. So again, we're just going to set up an ad view type instance, and we're going to call this ad. And again, we just have to set up a reference bridge. So we're just going to say ad view, uh, find view by ID, r dot ID dot uh, ad. And then all we're going to do is say ad dot load ad and we're gonna send a request to load a new ad um, and since we don't have an ad request we're just gonna create a new one we're just gonna say new ad uh, request and that's gonna send a new new request for us so if you have like a button uh, that gets pressed often and you guys wanna update your ad or something you could set that up within a button or something like that and also just a quick note uh, again this starting point activity uh, we had two layouts one for the horizontal layout or I'm sorry, the, the landscape layout and one for the portrait. Um, so again, you guys want to set up your ad within here. Otherwise, when it tries to look for this ad view within the Java, if we're in the layout uh, or the landscape mode, it's not going to be able to find that and it's going to crash your application. So again, just make sure you guys open that up and add this reference here and then set up your ad within there. You have the same ID as well. So your ad can find it or your Java class can find that ad. Um, and now I'm just going to show you guys how to add an ad through strictly Java alone. So I'm going to do that within our data class. Forgot exactly which, what this was. Anyway, so we have our data class and we have this uh, layout as Git. So I'm just going to open that up as well. And it looks something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our linear layout, or actually it's a relative layout that we use for this and we're gonna set that relative layout to have an ID as well so we're just gonna say Android ID equals uh, you know at plus ID forward slash uh, relative or rel layout I don't think we have an ID like that and there we go we just basically added a reference to our layout that controls our entire you know XML file so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Java and we're just going to set that linear layout up here, or relative layout, I should say. We're just going to call this RL and add our imports. And actually, I'm just going to set it up with within the onCreate method as well. Um, so I'm just going to say RL equals relative uh, relative layout find view by ID r.id.rel layout and the reason I did that is because we're gonna add in a uh, we're gonna add to this relative layout and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna say um, set up another add view and we're gonna call this add as well uh, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna use a, the method to create the add view for us and I'm just gonna say new add view And then within the parameters, we refer to the context of the class. So we're just going to say data dot this. And then for our second parameter, uh, we're going to set up the add size. So we're going to say add size dot banner. 
you guys have a few different choices you guys can mess around with see the different sizes that you can work with we're just gonna say banner and uh, and then we have to enter our ad ID which I'm just making up here and that creates again the ad for us and now what we can do is um, you guys probably have to put that in quotations as well so uh, now what we can do is we can just add to our relative layout which we call called RL and just say add view and then what, what view are we gonna add well we're gonna add this um, this ad view here so we're just gonna call it ad uh, because that's what we call their ad view and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, our ad and then again just load uh, dot load add and new ad request as well just like I showed you guys um, a second ago again we have to add all of our imports but that's how we can add to a relative layout or any other kind of layout um, just using this add view method on the layout itself and it's just going to add that view to our layout